Today, I want to quickly talk about the coronavirus that's called COV, since I've had a bunch of people ask me about it this week. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, the media is reporting that the epidemic is growing, that there have been over 100 deaths in China and over 3,000 infections of the coronavirus. Now, the CDC is urging travelers to avoid trips to China, and apparently over 110 people in the U.S. are being evaluated for the infection, have tested positive, and on top of it, the stock market is dropping fast because investors are worried about the impact on global health. So today I want to quickly go over the top five questions and the best solutions to help avoid getting the coronaviruses. And before I start, no, <laughs> you do not get the virus from drinking Corona beer, but you can get it if you share the same bottle with someone who has the coronavirus. Now more on that in a minute. So first, what is it? Now, the coronaviruses are basically a large family of viruses that are typically uh, affect the respiratory tract of mammals, including humans. Now, they're associated with a common cold, pneumonia, uh, and severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and can also affect your gut. Now, how do you get it? Now, coronaviruses are zoonotic, basically that meaning that they are transmitted between animals and people. Now, sometimes, but not often, the coronaviruses can, have, can infect both animals and humans. Now, most coronaviruses spread the same way other cold-causing viruses do, you know, through infected people, you know, coughing and sneezing, or by touching an infected person's hand or face, or by touching things such as the doorknobs that, you know, infected people have touched. Now, does it cause death? Now... Infections of humans with severe acute respiratory syndrome, uh, coronavirus, basically SARS-CoV, results in substantial morbidity and mortality with death resulting primarily from respiratory failure. While the lungs are a major site of an infection, the brain is also infected in some people. And the primary life-threatening problem is basically getting pneumonia, which is a severe lung infection. And at the very advanced stages, SARS causes lung, heart, and liver failure. Now, are there cures? Unfortunately, there is no cure, especially for the new coronaviruses, just as there are, is no cure for the common cold. Granted, there are ways to speed up your recovery from the common cold and get healthier faster, and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And finally, can anything kill it? Yes, most household disinfectants readily kill coronaviruses immediately. All right, so let's get to your prescription and action plan. First, I know that coronaviruses is big news right now. However, I want you to keep something in mind. The common flu kills roughly 35,000 people a year and hospitalizes over 200,000 in the U.S. alone. So don't freak out, you know, about the coronavirus uh, you know, like the morons have done with the stock market, all right? You don't need to go around wearing a face mask, you know, unless you're in China, maybe. First, make sure you wash your hands often and keep your hand, keep some hand sanitizers in your purse or backpack or car. Also, be mindful. Don't stick your fingers in your eyes and nose and ears and other openings. That's how you can get infected. I know a lot of this is done subconsciously, but try to pay extra attention and be more aware. When you're at home, you know, wipe down surfaces, then doorknobs and so forth with disinfectant sprays and wipes, something like Lysol uh, or something similar works just fine. And finally, you want to boost your immune system by making sure you sleep well. This is the most important factor for optimizing your hormones and thus in, uh, improving your immune system. Obviously, make sure you're also eating healthy. Now, me personally, I found taking two vitamins is really good. Taking high dose of vitamin C and D3 works wonders for speeding up the recovery from any illness, right? Especially the common cold and the flu. For me, high dose is at least 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C daily and up to 15,000 or more basically spread out throughout the day. It's, it's, it's water soluble, so you got to do it every two, three hours. And as far as the vitamin D, 20 to 30,000 units of vitamin D3 taken in the morning with a meal, fat-soluble meal. Now, there's no overdose at these dosages, so don't worry. Once you've gotten healthy, right, you can lower the dose back down to something like three to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C daily, um, spread out throughout the day, and also 5,000 units of vitamin D. 
And you know you've taken too much vitamin C too quickly if you get diarrhea. And if you do, just back off on the dose and then build up again slowly. Listen, I'll be honest with you. Since I've been doing this high dose vitamin C and D, I haven't gotten sick in years. And I usually get sick often. Granted, there's a few other really important things I'm doing, some cool tricks, but I'll leave that for another video in the future. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please share it with friends or on social media to help others, if nothing else, to help them avoid or reduce the common cold and flu. Uh, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click that notification icon so you'll be alerted when my next super awesome video is released. As always, thanks for listening and have a very happy and healthy day.